when you're coding Google Apps Script, it's really important you have some sort of a menu for users to interface with. When you're just coding for yourself and you don't mind going into the script editor, then fine, you don't need a menu, but even if you're doing it for yourself, it's so much easier to have something where you're in the Google Doc, you're in the Google Slides that you can pick from, where there's a menu up there to execute what you wanna do without having to go over to the code, choose the function and run it and go back over to your document. So we're gonna start with ChatGPT, see if it can help us make a menu. So I'm gonna say, for the current Google Doc, create a menu using Google Apps Script. All right, so my trick is generally to say, hey, use Google Apps Script, and which app are you using? So in this case, we're using Google Docs, and don't forget to say that you want the current Google Doc, otherwise it will create a brand new Google Doc. All right, so it has outputted this, and I can go ahead and click Copy Code. I'm gonna come over here to where it says Untitled Project, and I'm gonna control A, select all, and delete, and then I'm gonna paste that. So this is my menu. A um, few things that I would like to point out, let me zoom in on this. Um, first, I'm gonna save this. Notice that it called the function on open. This is super important. There, are, You can name your functions whatever you want, as so long as there's no spaces or weird symbols but there's a few function names that are kind of reserved or set aside that they mean or do something. And one of those is on open. So it's telling the code when you open the Google Doc, you're gonna run the code that's in this function, uh, which in this case is the menu, so that when you open up the Google Doc, the menu shows up. Now, when you share the Google Doc with someone, because you have this on open function, they're gonna be able to see that menu even when they haven't gone into the code at all. Like they make a copy of the Google Doc or they open the Google Doc, as long as they have editing access, they're gonna, they're gonna see that, that menu up there. So it's really important that you use on open. Now I'm gonna put an E inside of here on the on open. Now if you're just casually coding, you don't really need the E, E stands for event. So on the event of opening the Google Doc, uh, we're gonna run this code. But if you wanted to publish your add-on, this is gonna be really important. So if you wanted to publish it, you're gonna need one more function. Now this is the bottom curly brace. This ends the on open function. Oh, please do notice the capital O, super important. O-N, lowercase, capital O, and then P-E-N, lowercase, for that function name. So I am gonna end the on open function, and I'm gonna do function on install, again with the E, set of curly braces. And I'm gonna, on install, we're gonna do on open. So, and of course, a semicolon as we put semicolons at the end of each line. So what this is gonna do is it says var ui equals document app dot get ui. UI is the user interface. That is your menus, it is your sidebars, um, pop-ups. So that is ui, user interface, and I'm gonna change var to const just as a matter of habit. And then you see here where it says custom menu. Now this is in single quotes. So anything that's not code, if it's your own words, I would call them a text string. Those always have to be in quotes, so they should turn red. So I'm gonna change this from custom menu to grading options or whatever you wanna call your menu. And then my first item is going to be insert rubric. Now this is what you're gonna see on the menu. So I'm gonna pop in a emoji here because I just wanna emphasize this is not code. Over here, this second part, that second part is the name of the function. So as you name the function, you're gonna replace that with the function name. So I'm gonna go ahead and save. And then you'll see I have this drop down menu, and the drop down menu is all of my functions. So right now I have four functions in my code. I'm gonna run the on open function. Go ahead and click run. And I'm just gonna come over here to the Google Doc, and you'll see I now have a menu that says grading options. Now, if I click insert rubric, nothing's gonna happen because I didn't actually code the function to insert a rubric. 
So all we have right now is just a menu, and the menu does nothing, but look how cool that is. It just right over here next to the help menu, you see this grading options, and this is what it said, insert rubric, that I got right from here. So you can add items, and you can do submenus and some different things. Um, down here is the functions that you would want to code. I'm just going to delete these. I don't want a first item, second item. I'm going to change this from first item into something more meaningful to be the functions that I want. But this is a pretty standard menu, uh, and I really highly encourage you to take a look and see how it goes. Also, make sure you always end it with add to user interface, add to UI. Sometimes that's what gets me. I'm like, why isn't my menu showing up? Because I add item, I add item, I add item, I add item, and then I forget. I gotta actually finish the menu. So I gotta finish the menu and put that semicolon on there, save and run, and then that way it makes it a lot easier to share your Google Doc and your creations with your code.